Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Lisa from The Well Necessities here, and today I'm sharing with you my story with amenorrhea after being on the birth control pill for over 10 years. If you like this video throughout, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and just chat with me down below in the comments. This has been a topic that I've wanted to talk about for a very long time. But before I said anything publicly, I wanted to really understand what worked for me, really dive into the research and understand sort of how all these things get messed up in the body. I wanna be really clear that everything I'm saying here in this video is anecdotal. It's based on my own personal findings. This is not a recommendation for you. This is just what worked for me and that does not mean that it's going to work for you. You need to do your own body research, talk to your own doctor or dietitian before making any changes to your supplements. So for some backstory, it's important to know what amenorrhea is. Amenorrhea is simply an absence of period. Um, the first time I went on birth control, I think I was 15 years old. I went to the gynecologist, um, I had acne. They recommended that I go on birth control. I didn't really think much of it because I was 15. I didn't really know much about doctors except for trusting them and I just assumed that they knew best. When I got to college four years later, I remember thinking to myself, this seems kind of weird that I've been on a pill for four years. I'm curious what my body can actually do. So I took myself off birth control completely on my own, didn't even consult with a doctor, and for 12 whole months, I actually didn't see a period, and I was about 19 or 18. I was a bit concerned, so I went back to my doctor, told them that I took myself off the pill, and asked what I should do. Their advice was to go back on the pill so that I can get a period. I remember asking if that was safe, wondering if that would affect my future ability to have children or what the what it meant that I wasn't getting my period in general. They seemed unconcerned and said that getting a period by way of birth control was better than not having a period at all. So I listened, I went back on and the next eight years or so flew by and I was still on birth control. I'm about 28 years old at the time and I remember thinking, okay, in the next you know four-ish years or so, I'm probably going to want to start to have children so maybe I should really make sure that I can ovulate, menstruate on my own. When I told my boyfriend then, now fiance, Evan, that I wanted to go off, he really didn't understand why I would wanna make this change abruptly, didn't see um, why, but he was supportive that I wanted to, to do it anyway. But once I went off, he realized how important it was that I actually did. I didn't get my period for at least six or seven months, which really scared him and scared me. Periods are really important, guys. Even though we talk about them like they're really annoying, they are such an indication that our womanness is working and working well. So this is called secondary amenorrhea, which is a loss of period caused by something. It can be stress, hormonal imbalance, low body weight, um, or problems with the pituitary gland. In my case, it was pretty obvious that this was a hormonal imbalance caused by being on birth control for too long. The worst symptom that I experienced from going off birth control was probably the acne. Got it on my back mostly, my face too, but my back was so bad, cystic. Um, I talked about it on Instagram a bit. Um, it was that really painful type. I still get breakouts now about a year and a half after, but I am hoping that the worst is behind. When I realized that I had to be more proactive in my period restoration, I started to really investigate the supplements on the market and the research and what professionals were saying to take to help get your period. I found thousands of different recommendations from supplements to potions to pills to powders to dietary advice, you name it. It was so overwhelming. I focused on supplementation and investigated the top recommendations and I really wanted to understand their why so that I could select the ones that I thought would match what's going on in my body. So I looked at each of their mechanisms of action and selected two that I thought made the most sense in general and for myself knowing some of the drawbacks of my mostly vegetarian plant-based diet and lifestyle. So the first thing that you need to know about the birth control pill is that they deplete a lot of our vitamins and minerals and nutrients in the body, including folic acid, the B vitamins, vitamin C, E, as well as important minerals like magnesium, selenium, and zinc. So the two supplements that I chose to add to my daily routine were a zinc supplement and a B6. I chose to add in zinc because a zinc deficiency can affect reproduction and cause amenorrhea. We learned that the birth control pill depletes us of zinc, like we just talked about. And in animal studies, we've actually seen that a deficiency in, in zinc specifically 
affects ovulation and prevents the normal development and release of the egg, which is what getting a period is. The other supplement I went for was B6. When on birth control, our absorption of B6 from food is greatly compromised. B6 is essential for what's called the corpus luteum. This is responsible for making the hormone progesterone. And a lack of progesterone in the bloodstream can actually mean that the ovary has failed to release an egg during ovulation. So we need B6 in order to avoid a progesterone deficiency. All the really good sources of B6 actually come from animals like fish, chicken, beef. There are some plant-based sources as well. Since I personally don't eat meat and I probably don't get enough fish in, I figured that I could probably be lacking in B6 for my diet in general. So I went on those two supplements, taking them pretty much daily. I'm not the best at remembering to take my supplements, but within one month, I actually got my period back. So coincidence, maybe, it was about six or seven months since I went off the pill, but I continued with this regimen, taking them almost every single day, um, and like clockwork, I was getting my period regularly. Every time I, I get my period, my fiance and I, Evan, kind of high five. It's pretty awesome to be a functioning woman, um, even if I'm getting some help by way of these supplements. There were months where I thought that my body was functioning optimally and I would lay off the supplements. And so far for me, those are the months that I've missed my periods. So these supplements are really instrumental in helping me get my period. I'm not sure how long that I'm going to have to stay on them to get regular. Helpful to know that I kind of found two missing pieces that were important for me. So right now I am still actively taking B6 and zinc and I can pretty confidently say that they've helped to normalize my period just because the absence of them is when I miss my period or if it comes super late. So I'm gonna link the two that I'm specifically taking below. If this has worked for you or another supplement has, please drop it in the comments below. If you like this info, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for hanging with me, guys.